Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Thank you so much for joining me today for another Nimble training webinar. My name is Nedia, and I'm Nimble's community manager. Uh, we have a lot of customers reaching out to us saying that they imported way too many contacts into Nimble uh, than they need and are interested in some cleanup tips. So today we will be looking at how you can clean up your Nimble database using Nimble segmentation feature, as well as how to export your entire database into a CSV file, clean it up, and re-import it. We will also go over some best practices for importing your contacts to help you keep your database clean. And if you have any questions or feedback during today's session, please, please use them, uh, please type them into the question box and we'll cover them at the end of today's session. And for those of you who are either new to Nimble or thinking about trialing it, let's take a look at what Nimble is. So Nimble is an easy to use CRM that works for you in Microsoft 365, Google Workspace, Outlook, your personal Gmail, and wherever else you work. It automatically combines your contacts, communication histories, email inboxes, and calendar appointments, all into one place. Meaning once you unify all your contacts, you can then go into Nimble, open it up anybody's contact record, and see immediately who they are, where they're located, and any important information you might need to capture about them. So that is what basically Nimble is in a small bit. Not going to be talking about training webinars yet, but let's go to the app itself. So when you log in to Nimble, the first thing you will see is the Today page. But unfortunately, we're not going to be going over the Today page since this is going to be highly focused on content, uh, not content, um, just clean up strategies for your Nimble database. But if you're interested in a overall demo of the application, you can either head to our YouTube channel and watch one of our previous webinars, which was, I believe, two weeks ago or three weeks ago, or you can register for the next general Nimble overview, which will I be hosting next week. So before you start importing contacts, one of the best ways to ensure that you and your team will enjoy and continue using your CRM is to ensure that it has good data in it. The steps that we will cover in a bit might, be, might mean a bit work for you initially, but will definitely pay off in the long run because the last thing you wanna do is spend hours cleaning up your database after you and your team members imported contacts into Nimble. This is also important as importing unnecessary contacts might take you to reach closer to the basic contact limit, which is 25,000. There are upgrades available and you can purchase additional 10K contacts for an additional $10 per month. But if you're trying to keep the cost down, it is an important thing to consider. With that being said, let's go to networks and imports since we'll be talking about the best practices for data import. So to go to networks and import, um, go to the right corner of your Nibble account, which is where your avatar would be, and then go to networks and imports. So the best practices for data import is to create a list of all your contact sources, clean up your data sources, create a contact organization strategy, delegate permission, and inform your team about contact organization strategies too, so everyone is on the same page. Before you start importing any contacts into Nimble, and especially before you invite any team members, you should create a list of all the places where your contacts are going to be. So your contacts may be in any or of the following locations, uh, meaning like Outlook or Google Contacts, spreadsheets, LinkedIn, Twitter, third-party applications like QuickBooks Online, MailChimp, or your current or former uh, CRM, meaning like Salesforce, Pipedrive, or HubSpot. Once you have the list of all your data sources, consider spending some time reviewing all your contact sources and deleting all contacts that don't have to be in your CRM database. Uh, these can be any outdated or incomplete or personal contacts you might have in your Outlook, Google, LinkedIn, and or con Twitter contacts. This part might be time consuming, but it really does pay off in the long run too. Another important thing to do before you start importing your contacts is to think about how you'd like to be organizing your contacts. In Nimble, you can organize your contacts using tags, 
and also custom data fields. And to go to custom data fields, um, just go to your settings, which I have already over here, but I'll show you again how to access your settings. Settings. And then data fields is right above integrations. And you can also use a combination of both, of tags and data fields to organize your contacts. So before you, before your team starts importing their contacts, consider coming up with a naming structure for your tags and data fields. If your entire team is on Office 365 and you would like them to import their Outlook contacts, it might be good to ask them to tag their contacts using the same naming structure. Um, for example, it could be Outlook contacts dash your name. So it will be Outlook contacts dash Nettie Lamug for me. When you're using it Nimble as a team, it is important to think about how to do how you will do so. The account admin will be able to delegate permission or grant access to certain features with Nimble. These settings are available under billing, which is over here under my account. And then under manage users tab. Over here, the account admin can create permission groups and delegate individual group permissions such as contact bulk export or delete, pipeline management, ability to view and edit private deals, manage billing, and much more. And you can click on a user of your choice and you can see the, the permissions list and decide uh, however you want to edit it to your liking. These options allow the admin to take precaution and protect your Nimble database. If someone in your team decides to leave, they will not be able to take your database with them or even worse, to leave them before they go. So once you figure out your contact organization strategy and know exactly how you want your CRM database to be organized, let your team know, or at least let your, you should let your team know. Create a document of instructions that you want everybody on your team to follow and make sure everybody understands them before importing any contacts into Nimble. So for example, employees are allowed to import contacts for the following sources while following the rules for importing and contact organizations. So if your employees are going to be importing contacts from Outlook or Google or for Gmail contacts. Um, tell them before importing, clean up your contacts to make sure you will be importing important business, business contacts only and then applying a tag to the import. So for example, if I'm your employee and I am going to import my Gmail contacts, I'll click on Gmail and allow access for the mole to have access to my Gmail. And then for the tag, I will put Gmail dash Nedia. And then I'll also put today's month and year. This will let all the other users know that this came from my Gmail at this certain time. And it's nice to clarify when you need to also update those contacts as well if it's been over a year. So for LinkedIn contacts, export your LinkedIn connections with into a CSV file and remove any personal connections or anybody that doesn't have to be imported into your team CRM system. And then for company spreadsheets, you can either match the names of the columns in your CSV file to existing fields in Nimble before importing, or you can map them upon import. And then for social media, just scroll down a bit to social networks. Other social media uh, contacts can only be imported into Nimble on a case-by-case -case basis. Best way to import individual prospects or customers into Nimble from various social media platforms is to use Nimble's browser extension called Nimble Prospector. Uh, Vivian, if you have time, um, can you actually send the Nimble Prospector page on the chat box so it could be a little bit easier access for everyone? 
So now that we talked about how to import contacts into Nimble, let's go ahead and start talking about how to merge duplicates in Nimble. So let's go to the contacts tab. And then find a person or a company um, that you want to check if there's duplicates for them. And then click on the three dots that is right next to the edit button on the left side of the contact record. And then go down to find slash merge duplicates. So Nimble discovered that I have two other duplicates for John. And from here, what I can do is select which ones I would like to merge and then it will start creating a primary contact for John. You can also use Nimble Prospector to merge duplicates as well. So let's go to Twitter so I could show you guys how to use that browser extension. So while this downloads, uh, the Nimble, Nimble Prospector browser extension enables you to just hover over or highlight any name anywhere on the internet and either create new contact records or will surface any existing ones for you to edit. As you hover over or highlight contact records on the web, Nimble will automatically display any duplicates that might already exist in your database. So since I know John already has a few duplicates on my Nimble's database, I'll use him as an example. Uh, let me open up the browser extension. <clears throat> I'll highlight his name and it will show the three duplicate contacts that I have. So in order to merge these duplicate contacts, just select the ones you want to merge and then click this icon over here right next to the add tags. And then you can select the primary contact worker that will take over after you complete the merge. So that is it for the Nimble Prospector on how to merge contacts. Let's go back to the Nimble app. And let's talk about how to merge duplicates from the contacts listing. So Nimble can merge up to four duplicates contacts at a time. To merge duplicate contacts, go to the contacts tab, which I have right here. Type in the person's name or company's name in the search box. I'll do John again. Oh, spelled this name wrong. And then you can select um, two to four duplicate records. So I will do three, nice little medium. And then at the top of the list, select merge. Um, I do want to point out if the option merge right over here does not show up. Uh, that means you may have selected to merge a contact and a company, and this action cannot be performed in Nimble, meaning that um, contacts can only merge with other contacts and companies can only merge with other companies. It cannot be intermixed. You can also use Nimble segmentation feature to clean your database by using various filters. So let's go back to the contacts tab to see how that works. to make sure. You can segment your database using any existing fields in Nimble and also any custom fields you or anybody in your team may have created. One way to clean your database is to identify empty contact records. These might be contacts that don't have any contact information or any history of interactions. So to apply these filters, you can either use our add segmentation button over here on the left or click the one up above called segment search. I personally like to use that one more. And then click on add a contact filter. So I'm gonna do phone is empty. So meaning that the contact record does not have a phone number. And then email. is empty and that means that these contact records don't currently have a email 
address attached to them. So this search will give you, us all the contacts that don't have any contact information. Um, if you really want to be sure that you are only going to be searching empty contact records, you can add other fields to your search, like, let me add another one, any address field, and then is empty. So yeah, there is no contact information from those people. So after you finalize your search, you can easily bulk delete all the contacts by selecting them over here and then select delete. Just do that and it will take some time. All right, so you can also use the segmentation to search for any tags that might contain duplicates in case several of your employees have imported their, con uh, their Outlook contacts, you can check if any duplicate contacts were created. And to check on that, let's go back to the listing really quick and do a new segment search. Segment search, and then go to tags, and then let's start typing Outlook. And then from here, you can then select all the Outlook tags one by one if you have multiple of them. Uh, and then once you have that updated, choose the match all option over here on the top left or match any. So Nimble displays just the contacts that have all selected tags applied to them. And then you can select up to four at a time to merge them. If let's say you identify a lot of similar tags and would like to create a one master tag instead, you can select all the existing tags, for instance, containing Outlook Nedia, Outlook Michaela, and then apply a master tag to all of the contacts tagged with all these tags. It's a lot of tags. But in order to do a whole master tag, um, just select the ones that you would like to apply. Click add tags, and then we'll name this one master outlook. And then that tag is going to be applied to all the people that I've selected. There we go. You can then go to the main contacts tab and see all the individual tags you no longer need from the list and delete them. And to do that, let's go back to the list. And you can find all the tags over here on the left side, just make sure to scroll down. And then if you want to delete a certain tag, just hover over that over the tag and you'll see like a pencil icon meaning to delete, I mean not to delete, to edit and then a trash bin uh, for you to delete. I do want to point out though, um, when you delete the tag here, uh, it deletes the tag entirely instead of only deleting the tag of the person when you are in an individual or company record you might be on. And then another way to clean up your database is to select all contacts. and then um, importing all of them into a CSV file. So to do that, make sure you're on the contacts tab page, all contacts, and then select all of them. Click on export, export CSV. When exporting, you can review the file and manually clean it up or use an Excel or Google Sheet function to identify and delete um, duplicates. You can also delete any information from any fields as well as to fill any custom fields and then have the information bulk import into any of them all at once. And then when you're done with your file, make sure that you save it back to a CSV and import it back to Nimble. Uh, you can import multiple tags to various contacts from inside your file or if you would like to apply one tag, you can tag the entire file upon import. So I know that was a little short, but um, that is it for the contact cleanup strategies. 
uh, training webinar. Uh, our next training webinar is next Wednesday on August 8th. Um, we'll be going over the overview of the Nimble app and also the mobile app as well. And then after that, on August 11th, we'll have a deals pipeline and reporting webinar. And also next week, we have a study case webinar with uh, Moran Horn. Um, Michaela will also be hosting that as well. And they'll be going over how to use Nimble CRM to grow professional services businesses. So go check that out at nimble.com at slash company slash webinars. Um, Vivian, can you send that on the chat box, please? And then we also have a special offer for new users. If you sign up today, you get 30 days of Nimble for free. And uh, Vivian will also be sending this to the chat box as well. And now let's move on to questions. All right, so it looks like there are no questions as of right now. Let me double check. Oh, we have one. Take your time. I'll be sipping my water. <laughs> Uh, when importing contacts, not all information comes through. Oh, oh, there's many. Like company they work for. Like companies they work for. So you said just deleting base. Oh. Okay, hold on. P.S. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> no worry, P. I'm trying to follow through what you're saying because I see there's different messages. When you're exporting contacts, not all the information comes through. What companies you work for? Is it about the format in which I'm exporting? Importing, sorry, importing into Nimble. Yes. Okay. So, Pia, I'll answer your question. All right. Let me get out of this cat tap tapping thing going on. So, what's happening, I believe, is the way your format. Oh, hold on. Let me exit out of this thing. Let me show an, as, as an example because I feel like it's better if I show. So, let's go to. CSV, um, I'll use an old one that I have. But um, over here on column names, you can also change them. So I believe this would be better, actually. Um, I'm actually going to send your um, question to our care team because they can actually better explain than I can. <laughs> I don't have the right CSV file. I only have the one from LinkedIn that has random stuff from people <laughs> that I uh, follow and connect with on LinkedIn. But um, yes, I'll go to the next question. So. Um, unfortunately, I can't answer all of these questions right now, um, but I will personally send them, oh, okay, um, send them all to care at nimble.com and CC you guys into the conversation and they'll be happy to help you guys. And um, thank you for joining me today. Um, if you need any 
help or any questions, please email care at nimble.com and hopefully I will see you guys in the next webinar. Thank you.